Hey guys, what is up? Reese here, and I've got a brand new shoe pickup to bring you. What we're looking at is the Nike LeBron 11, and my second Nike ID colorway. These are the Space Jams. They're a mix of black, white, and game royal. This is my second pair of Nike ID LeBron 11s. If you haven't seen my video on my first pair, you can check those out. Um, I placed the same order for both pairs, so it was just one order, uh, two pairs of shoes, and for some reason the other pair came about two weeks before these did. They must have had some sort of um, issue with building these or something, and it was around the holidays, so I, I understand. But so these finally came in today, and I am really pleased with the way these turn out. You know, obviously it's kind of a simple connection to make the, this is the LeBron 11, and the Space Jam colorway is a very famous colorway from the Air Jordan 11. And it wasn't actually something that I set out to do intentionally though, because when I was designing uh, my second pair of ID LeBron 11s, I was kind of looking to A, do something totally different from my first pair, which if you haven't seen the video, they're a mix of orange and purple and black, so they're kind of crazy in terms of colors. And also, I really don't have that many all black or predominantly black shoes. You know, I have a lot of shoes that feature black, but I really only have one or two bear, two pairs, excuse me, that are like almost all black. And so I kind of want to add to that part of my collection. So basically what I did is I sat down, I completely blacked out the LeBron 11 on Nike ID, but I don't like shoes that are 100% black uh, for whatever reason. I've just never been a huge fan of that. So I kind of went through and found, you know, where can I make small changes? And so I started with the swoosh. I was just like, you know, that would be a nice hit of color. And I went through my options, and when I hit the blue, that's when it kind of hit me. Oh, wait, I've got a great idea for these. And so, you know, it's not perfect. On the uh, Air Jordan 11, you've got a white midsole. And obviously on these, there is no real midsole part. The closest thing that's down on the bottom is this armor posit material. But, of course, that is such a large part of this shoe that making that white would have just ruined the look. So I just went with all black for the armor posit and upper, and then I added white hits elsewhere to kind of bring in that white and then just a little bit of blue on logos, uh, just like the real Space Jams. The only thing I think that could have set these apart a little bit more and made them more of a Space Jam tribute is if I could have made the armor posit or foam posit material uh, glossy black. When I placed my order back uh, in, I think, November, they, they didn't tell you whether you were picking a glossy color or not, for the foam posit material. You just, you know, you had your color choices, but now I've checked and they do tell you most of the colors are matte. A lot of, uh, it, it really it ranges from the blacks and the grays up to even like Volt, you can only get that in matte. But then there's also, I think, royal blue, uh, purple, red, and yellow at least uh, are colors that you can get with glossy. And so it would've been cool if I could get the black and glossy also just, you know, to tie in with the patent leather look of the Space Jams, but I mean other than that I'm very happy with how these turned out. They look really cool and you know they're they're extremely different from the other pair of LeBron 11s that I got which is kind of the point. In terms of build quality these I would say they're just as good as my other pair. There were some glue issues I got most of them off you they just took a little time um, to get off and some of that I think is it's just more noticeable on the black because you know the glue kind of gives it a little bit of a whitish look so you can tell really easily on this dark of a material. So I did have to do that, but I mean, you have to do, I have to do that on a lot of release pairs that I get to. It's just build quality, um, unfortunately, is like that. But so all in all, I'm very pleased. You know, like I said, these are totally on par with the other pair I got. They look great. So now let's get into an enclosed review and I'll show you all the materials, colors, and give you an overview of the shoe. Here we go with our close up view of the Nike LeBron 11 in my Nike ID version of the Space Jam colorway. The majority of the upper is black. You've got two main components. You've got your hyperfuse, which is your main upper, just kind of the top part of the shoe. And then you've got your armor posit or foam posit. The armor posit is just kind of like a name uh, given to the foam posit used on this shoe. But that, you've got it up here in this front section. It kind of wraps around up to toe box. There's a little bit of a gap. And then there's a big chunk of it over here comes up on the lower part of the foot. Again, there's a break right in the middle. And then you have it wrapping around the back of the shoe, although it does drop pretty significantly here. And then over here, there's also a tiny little triangle of it back here. I'm not totally sure what the point is. Um, the, the whole design of the LeBron 11 is very geometric, and you can really see that on this pair without any speckles or anything. You can see 
all of the lines in the armor posit. I think it's an interesting look. I really personally enjoy it. You've got these two little triangles cut out so you, you can see your fly wire through there. I went with white fly wire here just because there was a little bit of white on the original Space Jam Air Jordan 11s and since I couldn't do a white midsole here I just thought that would be a good way to tie in a little bit of white. Uh, if we come over here to the inside of the shoe you can see I added a little bit more white with this swoosh right here. I think it's a really good look and just ties in that Space Jam theme a little bit more. This side does not have a big swoosh running here so you can see a little more of the detailing of that Hyperfuse upper which I think looks really cool. You've got surrounding all of the armor posit or foam posit material, you've got this synthetic webbing that kind of ties the two components of the shoe together. And if we look on the inside right here, it actually says Flywire right there, just letting you know that there's Flywire technology. So the entire upper of the shoe has been called Hyperposite. And some people have had questions about that. Some people you know, are like, well, what does that even mean? It's really simple. All it is is saying that the shoe is a mix of Hyperfuse and foam posit or armor posit material. It's just combining those two words into one word to describe the upper since it's made of those two components. If we look now at the swoosh, I went with blue, getting in that just like the Space Jams have their branding in blue and the Jumpman on the back, these have the swoosh in blue. As you can see, there's a pattern on the, let's see if my camera will pick that up. There's just a little bit of a pattern on the uh, swoosh. I don't really know, it, it doesn't really look like anything in particular, it's just something that adds a little bit of depth to the swoosh, you know, it's not just the base color. You have the same thing up here on the tongue with the LeBron Kings logo. You've got the same blue, uh, same pattern. It's almost kind of like a slightly plasticky material, but it is flexible on the shoe, so it's not just like a full plastic. Now, if we look the rest of the shoe, the last part of the upper that I haven't covered is kind of the tongue area. So first of all, the tongue is black, and I also went with black laces, but they have little gray dashes in them, and I really like the laces on the LeBron line. I know it's a super minor thing, but I just like the fact that they're not just plain laces. You know, they've kind of got texture and a nice feel. Um, the lace tips on these are just straight black, but I know on some of the release pairs of the 11s, they actually say, I'm not sure if they either say LeBron on one and James on the other, or they have the LJ uh, crown logo. Um, I know some of the older pairs have had the LeBron and James, but I think the 11s might have the um, crown logo, but whatever. Regardless, they do have a logo on the um, lace tip, which is kind of cool. The shoe, as you can see, on the inside of the shoe, every single uh, lace loop has fly wire. And I didn't know since until I got this pair, but it actually on the outside, the first two and then the last two lace loops have uh, fly wire, but the middle two, it looks like they don't. But I was actually looking, and if you look right here, you can see the fly wire is on the underside of the upper just because the swoosh is right there, so there wasn't a lot of room to bring it through. I think that's kind of cool that they did that. Um, again, the fly wire is white on these. So now if we look at the top of the tongue, you've got this just kind of pattern that kind of just brings it to life with a little bit of texture. You've got, your again, your logo right there. And then up here, there's a little ribbon that connects to the back. And it's hard to see because it's all in black. But on that ribbon, there is an X over an I, which is the, you know, the Roman numeral for 11 XI. It's just kind of like a cool touch. Now, if we look at the last component of the upper for these, since they are a Nike ID, is the ID. And these are on the inside of the tongue. As you can see, I put Space Jam XI or Space Jam 11, just to tie the theme together. Pretty simple. Um, just something cool. The only thing I don't like about these is no one will ever see the ID. You know, most Nike ID shoes, it's somewhere visible, but hey, you know, it, it is what it is. Last part of the shoe is the outsole. We've got right here, I've got the clear outsole. You've got your uh, few kind of breaks in here for movement, and it's kind of a black and gray pattern in there. Same thing back here. Then right here, you've got your uh, plastic piece in black, kind of the st stability part of the shoe, excuse me. You've got LeBron's signature in white, as you can see, there's kind of like a cracking pattern on that right there. It looks kind of cool. Again, it's part of the shoe that no one will see, but it's cool that it's there. These have a hex traction pattern. Very comfortable. I haven't actually played basketball in the shoe, but I'm assuming the traction works pretty well. So all in all, it's it's a really neat shoe. I love the 11s, but I just you know wanted to do something my own and with them. Um, I wasn't 
it's not that I wasn't happy with the release pairs, but I just thought I could do better in terms of what I was looking for in shoes and uh, colorways that I don't currently have. So that's why I went, in, went ahead and did these. I think they turned out great. I'm really happy that the theme tied together so well. Um, so yeah, let me know what you think of these. Let me know what you think of the 11s in general. And thanks for watching, guys. Have a great day.